In this video, we'll be looking for some advanced shortcut using more than two keys. Like here, I'll press Control Shift and then F1, Control Shift F2, Control Shift F3. So I have some key which is common as Control Shift and I can keep on using this 12 keys. But I do not have shortcuts for all the options because it's not available in Excel. Maybe in newer version we can get it. Let's see that how to go for the first shortcut Control Shift F1. Now I have some space here available on the screen where I can keep on writing editing. If I do not want to use the tabs and you know uh, ribbons and quick access toolbar, I can expand my data where it can be used. I can press a shortcut key from my keyboard Control Shift F1. So I'll press Control Shift F1. You see the space I can utilize more because I do not want tabs and you know uh, the ribbons or the quick access toolbar or at the bottom I get some taskbar. I do not want that. So I can use Control Shift F1. So you see show and hide ribbon and tabs and everything is given here. If you want to bring it back, you use the same shortcut key Control Shift F1 and you'll get it back. Similarly, the next shortcut I have, I have some data on the screen. If you see there are countries, name of the countries and name of the cities in that particular country, India, Mumbai, Delhi, Pune, UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah and all these countries like China, Beijing and Shanghai. So what I want is I want to create a name range with respect to their column headings. The name of the column, it should be the name range for these three cities. So first thing is what I'll do is I'll first select this entire data and I can create names for selection. The shortcut key for creating names for selection is Control Shift F3. So I'll press Control Shift F3 from my keyboard. I'll get a dialog box. It says, what do you want to give the names? Do you want to give the names as a top row or the left column? So I'll say I want to create as a names as a top row and I'll click on OK. So once you click on OK, let's see what exactly happens. Now the names of the cities have become the name range as the country name. So I'll select this three names. If you observe in the name range, I've got the country as India. Similarly, if I select these three names, Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah, I've got UAE. So how do you create a names for all the data is using Control Shift F3 shortcut. Next I have, if I want to only move to the blank cells in my keyboard, in my cells, how do I get it? I can just use the shortcut key as Control Shift F4 and if you observe, Control Shift observe of F4 will take me to only those areas where I have the blank spaces in the cell or you can say blank cells. Control Shift F4. So it will keep on moving there. Right now if I keep my cursor, Control Shift F4, it will keep on only going to the blank cell itself. Next I have, if I want to, next shortcut I have, if I want to move to the previous workbook which I have right now I have two workbooks if I will show you here yeah I have workbook book one and I have another workbook that is shortcuts if I want to jump between the workbooks I can use the shortcut key as control shift f6 so I'll keep my cursor here press control shift f6 from my keyboard now I'm in the book one and if I go to control shift f6 and I'll book to move to next previous workbook so this way you can you know keep on shuffling between the workbooks Next shortcut I have which is Control Shift F10. If I want to go to a particular tab, I can just use Alt key which you have seen earlier. Just press Alt key from a keyboard and you'll get it. But now another shortcut is if you press Control Shift F10 from a keyboard, Control Shift F10 and if you see the tabs gets activated and the quick access toolbar also. Whichever function you want to go, let's say if you want to go to formulas, you can just press this M key and you'll go to that formulas tab. I'll press M key and you can keep on navigating detail into that function itself. Next is, next shortcut I have that is Control Shift F12 where I can use it for printing purpose. So I'll press Control Shift F12 from my keyboard and you see I went to the file tab, the, it is automatically selected in the print mode. These are the options which I can customize while printing and that's a print preview where I have the number of pages. If you want to go back, use your keyboard, use the escape key and you can come back to the normal place. So these are all the shortcuts which are used with Control Shift and the function that is F1, F2 and F12 different keys itself. So I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.